Based on recent happenings in Nigeria due to domestic violence, we decided to take our time to ask people what their thoughts are on abusive relationship. This is News Pop and I'm Vagi Medley. Stay tuned. What are the signs of an abusive relationship? Ah. <laughs> signs. I can't say. You know, most, most people say beating the wife uh, or beating the the husband. You know, wife used to beat the husband. There is plenty. We have it. All around. But you know, there's nothing we can do. We keep it to ourselves. When our wives are beating us or our spouse, brother. So, uh, abuse can be verbal. You know, it can be non-verbal too. You know, the way we are when we are even younger, the way our mother look at us when they are visitors, you know, ah, I have entered trouble. You know, it's somehow. So, so the common one is raising hands on each other, his partner, or having disagreement all the time that is not pleasant to, to each other. I think that is an abuse. In, in, in a common African way. But the abuse are greater than using raising hands. You know, you know, that is through Vaba and the likes of them or not performing your duty as an husband in the, in, the, in the house or the wife too depriving the husband of his, you know. <laughs> so, so that is, that is, uh, th th that those are the signs, basically Vaba, non Vaba, beating your spouse, not giving he or she attention to both parties, you understand? You know, those are the things that lead like, to it. Wow, abusive relationship. Okay, um, when you are in a relationship and you you notice that the guy has um, obviously starts showing a sign of temperament, yeah, some people can be naturally temperamental. Not that it's a fault. You understand? Is that because of that their temperament? Either they are you know most sanguine, the way they talk too much, they can easily also show show a sign of, especially when they are being ignored. Okay, and so that one is natural. But when it begins to become unbearable, where if, um, especially for the guy now, when the guy is uh, in a relationship and he's too possessive, some people, they are like God, you know, God, it's a jealous God, you know, like he's, <laughs> he doesn't share it. <laughs> and uh, I get to a point where they can't even, you know, um, they can't imagine somebody even talking to the girl. You can imagine that kind of a thing. So, and they show that, that um, displeasure in their relationship, you know, they go, they, they withdraw, they can't be able to express themselves again, the, the lady be wanting to talk to them and, you know, those are signs. And when you t talk to a lady, say, ah, are you sure you can manage this? And, um, you know, most times you don't understand what, what a girl wants. I know sometimes I used to wonder, is it that they actually know what they want? You can see where ladies are know he will change. You know that kind of thing. They are very positive about the fact that this guy will change. You know, I was like, okay, you mean everything is okay? Say no, everything is okay. Everything is under control. Then you know, you just allow her to enjoy this relationship. The next thing you start hearing that the guy slaps her. You know, those are like you say, it's a sign. It's a sign, and when the person will slap, I mean, will beg. Okay, that can be that can be forgiven. But when they slap the second time <laughs> and the third time, ah, you need to do something about this thing. But most of them keep thinking that I don't know that kind of faith. You don't have faith to have money, but you have faith that this guy is gonna change. Okay, at the end, it does not change. And see people dying in their relationship. So that's that's my my take. Wow. Uh in relationship, you know, is a two-way thing. Mutual respect and uh, understanding. Now, if any of them is missing from any of the sides, it's it's also counter force, and that's one of the uh, catalysts of violence. Okay. Any other sign aside us? Well. The other, other sign which is almost uh, applicable to everybody now is the economy. You can see some men will drop maybe 10k for soup and the next day or the third day the wife says the soup is finished then the man flares up. So that's economy related. Then the other one too, the other one too is also societal. When you are in a society of people that don't care for 
Ah, uh, you don't, you don't, you want, even if your voice is raised, nobody cares from the next house. Okay, but if you are, if you are in a, if you are in a community where you don't want to make noise, you don't want people to know you are making noise. Let me give you an example. A, a couple in Ajegule can shout and shout on top of their voices. Nobody cares. That same couple lives in GRA, in Nikeja, okay, or in Banana Island. They will not be able to raise that same voice they are raising. So that one is also society related. Abusive relationship starts from the stage where either of the parties start becoming violent. Sometimes it doesn't start from the physical violence like beating each other or something. Sometimes it starts from the words, abusive words, vulgar languages. And then the next one is it, it graduates to the physical violence, woman battery. So from then, you start having several other issues that it start that will start escalating into public harassment and all that. So those are the things that I know so far. And then something should be noted: it is not only the ladies that are being abused, the guys too. It's because I've seen where ladies abuse their guys, like physical, but like you know something like that anyway. Well, to me, the signs of an abusive relationship is basically when it's um, toxic, yeah, when it's toxic. Please, I beg in the name of God, if you're in a relationship and a man raises his hand at you, please leave that relationship. It's very, very important. It's good for your, it's good for your mental health. It's good for your sanity. Just, just walk away. You don't have to be there. You deserve better than what you are going through. So, they, they always say that when a man hits you once, it will definitely continue to hit you. It won't stop. So if you notice that sign that he's always been toxic, he's, um, he, he's not appreciative of what you're doing for him, you're the kind of person that you go out all for him and he's not appreciating, he doesn't even see, he makes you less of a person. So just, you know, just quit. Just say no, 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 no. no. Because we've had cases of too many domestic, um, too many abusive relationships, like case of the late Osunachi, may I so rest in peace, We've had cases of so many of yes, IVD. I didn't really follow that story, but I guess it was also it was also an abusive one. So please, if you are in one, just you know, just leave. Please, thank you, thank you so much. Once a man start hitting you like this, just know that you are in for it. So don't even wait to tell you. That's number one red flag. So thank you. Okay, um, if from the the man, I guess um, one of the things that we see. Number one is from words, because no matter how words uh, precede action. So when a guy, even at the, at the point of why you are still um, having a relationship, a not relationship, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend, and a guy is um, tapping your body, saying some words, that's important, saying some abusive words, that you know that these things are big words, they can emotionally bring you down. For instance, maybe a physical abuse that, oh, look at your stature, you are even too short for me, you know. When those things happen at that early stage, it's a sign that something is coming. And now let's talk about physical violence now. Sometimes you may not mean it, you know, as a, I'm talking from this perspective of a man now. You may not mean those things and you begin to tap a woman and you know and you are seeing that reaction just like this recent um, um, yes video thing, IVD thing that, that is trending, you know. When the a girl begins to tap you little by little and the woman is changing countenance. You should know that this thing is giving a sign of you being abusive. Some, that, 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 that is that's why I said earlier that sometimes you may not be intentional. You may just be doing those things. But when you do it and a woman feels the pain and a woman changes countenance or reacts to it somehow, it, it, it might be abusive. And other way around too, when it comes to a woman abusing a man, a woman to do that, you know, in terms of physique, a woman can be more physical than the husband or than the boyfriend, you know. And when they uh when a woman shows that uh well, i can overpower you whatever you say you 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 can't uh you can't win me because i can even beat you when it comes to wrestling or you know, we, we are fighting that gives an iota that this uh this relationship can be uh, quite toxic if not uh, uh eventually violent so to me it starts from the little it sounds from the words when every words abusive words that can uh demoralize that can de uh, motivate someone that can 
um, demean, yeah, demeaning words are, are, are little signs of a abusive relationship, if you ask me. Yeah. Okay, um, I think the basic sign should be, um, you know, like the way you, um, the, atten um, the attention, the affection, the love, the care, if it, it has reduced or basically or gradually reduced, you should know those are signs is telling you like okay it's no longer interested or she's no longer interested the way you treat each other you know everything has reduced or has stopped or drastically you should know that that those are signs basic basic signs that he's no longer interested or she's no longer interested and you know um the thing is most times it's not even about you know um this marriage thing it's a big deal but you know we youths of nowadays or youth of this generation see that's not a big deal. Most of us tell you it's not because you know you love the partner or something, it's because about because you want the money. You know, you do this for money. Most of the crazy things we do for money is not for love anymore because I'm very sure why you would even want to stay in an abusive marriage would be because to me, could be because you're still enjoying something from it. But you know, where you already you notice the signs, you've seen it, you've you don't you, you can read in between the walls. It's not something we still need to tell you or your mother or your father you still needs to tell you you should already know these are signs that he doesn't want you anymore so stay off it before it starts it turns into a punching bag or starts beating you up yeah you know it ends up to you still have to go back to your parents house or something and they still need to clean your mess it's wrong so you already know the signs we are, we are all an adult we know what is, we know our left from our right we know our wrongs from our you know what we do we know what the, the um, we know what to do and what not to do so when this science comes when it shows when it happens you should know okay this is time for me to take a pause you know for me to back out so in times if anything happens you're, you're like you know the beating or anything consistently occurs you would know okay you already should, you have, I've seen these signs they're no longer a big deal so except you're still like I said enjoying something in the relationship or in the marriage that's what what Will still keep you in the marriage but if you're not enjoying anything and you know you've been seeing these signs come on just stay put don't let him turn you to a punching bag or something you're not and you know your if these things constantly happens your relationship with your friends families would, would definitely decrease and you know if you don't definitely want to tell your parents you don't want to tell anybody if you don't want to tell anybody about it you would keep mute and you know you still just I can cope you know Jesus is there Jesus is there Jesus is there but when these things happens it would also tell you your conscience and that spirit will also tell you to leave or to tell your parents or to tell his parents or you know just to do something that keeping mute or, or silence to the situation so to me I feel those are just the big, basic signs if he doesn't love you anymore you say tell him I love you and he doesn't respond or just or, or probably okay there might be certain reasons why he doesn't respond probably he's not you know in the right senses or he's busy or something but let him know I said I love you okay if not I love you too the way you will respond will let you know oh okay he still loves me or the way you understand manner of approach still matters so and if he says he doesn't love you you don't need to force it on him it's not something you force on people though it comes naturally so you know let it flow that's it